obviously I've been in the gym uh, for a bit now, since the operation, uh, some like eight weeks now. i um, seeing a specialist uh, very soon to find out how I'm getting on and if I can uh, ramp up even more. You know, it's tough in the gym, um, but like we've, I've uh, heard Rian and that say before, it's good to have people around you while you're in the gym. I understand you know, getting back into the gym is almost like the first step, but uh, getting back in the grass, I would think that's the, the real goal, isn't it, at the end of the day? Yeah, especially when you've had operation, you know, you're on crutches for, I was on them for three weeks, you can't do anything, you know, <clears throat> you have to watch everything you eat, put in your body, you know, you can't drive, you can't come in, so you're away. And then once you get in the gym, you know, that's the first step. Then obviously the big step is, is getting out on the grass, you know, you, you can see light at the end of the tunnel, um, which ain't far away. You mentioned obviously the disadvantages of being injured. How do you cope with mentally going through that kind of spell? Uh, well, I've been injured before, um, a lot in my days at Ipswich. Um, I know I think you've got to go straight into a, a mentality of committing to it. You've got to accept it straight away. And you know, you've got to go in there and you've got to uh, make every day count. You know, you can't just go in there and go through the motions, if it's on the bike, if it's doing the leg exercises. You know, if you take off 5% each day when you're doing leg work, you know, it's going to add up by the time and if my thigh is not ready by that time, then that might not be good for me. So I put 100% in every day. I go into it with a mentality um, of coming out stronger every day and I think that's the best thing to do. You wouldn't wish long-term injury on anyone, but having Jaden and Rian around you, has that helped? Yeah, it's made me realise how old I am. Um, you know, them two yeah, little firecrackers, you know, um, dumb and dumber at times. Uh, but they're good guys, you know, they're working hard, they've got the, uh, the right mentality and it, I think they feel that they can't, you know, take their foot off the gas otherwise I'll be on them. As Rian said, like I'm a father figure, but that's that's because I like them and, you know, I think they're great players and I think it's only a tiny little setback for them, you know, they'll come back stronger when they get back fit. So yeah, it's been good and obviously we've had Bash in as well, um, I've got Jack O'Connor in there. Um, and we've had uh, the skip in for as well. You know, it's been it's been a crowded physio. You've obviously seen the blades in the meantime. So, what do you make of the progress over recent weeks? Good. You know, that's what we should have been like at the the start of the season. I'm fully confident with the boys. You know, I think the way we play. You know, the clean sheet speaks for itself. That's the most important thing. You know, you're not conceding goals. If you get 20 clean sheets in a season or something, you you need a guaranteed promotion. And we're not far away from that. Wes has been brilliant, and I think our play has been great. Um, to say the injuries we've had as well. I don't think many teams would have coped. People that have come in have been brilliant and the people that have been playing every week that, you know, don't even get taken out of the team, that to do it week in, week out is tough and they've been brilliant and I, I'm really confident of of what's going to come. We said this to Reem when we interviewed him a few weeks ago, but are you a good watcher? Can you watch the games? No, I'm not a good watcher. I don't like watching. Um, it's not anything to do with not, it's, I support the, the team, but I don't. I don't like watching the game because I feel it, that's when I feel like I get down. I feel like once I step back into that arena, that I'm part of it, um, then that's that's when I'm at my best. I feel watching it's hard. It's hard work. That's when you really miss it and you really get down on yourself. So I try to take a step back and and I watch from from afar, but I'm still there, 100 percent. And finally, what do you make of the championship running? It just seems to be as tight as ever, doesn't it? Tight as ever. It's always the championship, you know, you get nothing like it. Um, you know, we've got some games at home, you know, must wins, and we've got to go away and get some points or something on the board. But they're all winnable. All games in the championship are winnable, especially with the squad that we've got, attacking players all over, you know, um, there's goals and um, you know once we get them wins in the belt I think we'll be in the playoffs and I think you know no team will want to play us um, from now to the end of the season even if it is, isn't in the playoffs.